Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the restart option to restart a job in Abacus Standard. Uh, just to start by saying that the restart option is perhaps one of the most useful features in Abacus that many users are not familiar with. I'm going to show you how to use this restart feature, which is basically uh, can be used for two main applications, very useful applications. The first application or the first scenario is something that uh, mo perhaps most of us are familiar with. So this is for job recovery. So you can use the restart options for job recovery. And basically what does this mean? This means to restart a terminated or a killed job. So I assume that you have gone through this. If you are running a very long analysis or a long job, sometimes during the analysis, after you spend hours uh, running, something could happen like power outage or uh, any problem with your PC that the process is terminated and Abacus stops all of the sudden and it exits with an error. And when this happens, it can be very frustrating because most of us, what we would do, we would just need to resubmit the entire job and start from zero from increment number one. But this doesn't need to be the case. You can actually start from where you ended or from where you stopped. So this can be very, very useful. So we are going to show how to use this restart option. So this is one of the main uh, applications for, for it, for job recovery. Uh, the second application is for job continuation. And perhaps this is the main use of the restart uh, feature. So basically to restart a new step from a previous step. So let's assume that you have some kind of analysis and this analysis has two main steps. The first step is constant. It's always the same, but in step two, the second step, you are going to do different load cases. So let's say like in step two, you are applying some kind of load, but this load, you want to change it every time. So the long way or the hard way to do this is that you do different models or even within the same model, you do different runs and in every run, you change the loading step two and then you run, submit the job and every time you run step number one. So this can take long time, especially if step one is a long step, something that let's say step one takes one hour and step two takes one hour as well. So this means that if I want to do four different cases in step two, this means that every time I will need to run this one hour analysis for step one, this means four hours that are spent running the same step. So you don't need to do that. Actually, what you can do is that you can run step one just one time. And then every time you run step two, a different load case in step two, you start from where you ended. Basically, you start from the end of step one instead of starting the analysis from zero. So this is the second uh, application, useful application for the restart feature. So how we can do that? Well, let's go to Abacus and let's uh, do a quick uh, example to see how we can use the restart feature. All right, so now here in Abacus, I have this example model that I did very quickly, a very simple model. It's pretty much a column, as you see over here, and this column has a fixed base, it's a cantilever column. And at the top, I'm going to apply two steps, two loads. In step number one, so I have two steps here. If I look here, I have two steps, step one and step two. In step number one, I'm going to apply an axial load at the top of the column. And then in step two, I'm going to apply some lateral uh, displacement at the top. So let's see if we run this model. Let's uh, demonstrate the first application of the restart option. Basically, if you run the model and then it terminates midway, how can you continue? So if we want to do that, well, we said if we want to use the restart option, first, we need to make sure that the restart files generated by Abacus are generated at each time increment. Because by default, the 
restart files are generated only at the end of each step so i have here two steps step number one is like one second and step number two is also one second and if i run this model right now and let's say that i finish step number one and in step number two i reach it 0.6 seconds out of the one second what will happen is that if i stopped if i'm going to use the restart option the restart option will start from step number one so i'm going to lose all the progress that i had in step number two because by default abacus is only generating restart files at the end of the step so we want to modify that we want abacus to generate restart files at each increment for each step so how we can do that you need to go to model over here right click say edit keywords and then if you scroll all the way down you will find this command restart and this command is pretty much written for each step so if you go under each step so under step number one you have this command and under step two you have this command so we need to modify this command so this command by default it says here frequency is equal to zero which means that the restart files is going to be generated only at the end of the step so if i modify this and i put one this means that the restart files are going to be generated every increment okay which is good so this is we can do it one or we can do it two we can do it three well depends on how frequent you want to save this restart files of course saving this file takes space and takes time so if you have a very long uh, analysis maybe you can make this frequency uh, a higher but for this model that's fine i can make it one in the same time if i don't want to have a separate restart file for each frequency because because i don't want to i i don't need in this case i don't need to save all restart files for each increment i just care about the last increment that i reached so you can put a comma here and then you can say overlay and in that case the new restart data for the last increment will overwrite the previous increment and so on and then i'm going to do the same here i'm going to take this and copy it and do the same for step number two so now i modify this and i say okay and now let's go to the job and then we run create a job and run it as we typically do i'm i'm leaving this job name as job number one uh, let's use like uh, or maybe no processors that's fine we can let it have some time to run so let's submit it let's look at the monitor so right now i'm going to kill the job during the analysis just to demonstrate like this case when the job terminates uh, at some point so right now step number one is running so in the work directory what's happening now the restart files are being generated for the last increment so now we're in step number one i can kill it right now but let's kill the job like uh, let's say in uh, step number two to demonstrate so step one is finished and right now we are in step two so we can kill let's say uh, let's give it some time to run a little bit let's kill over here so now i killed the job which could happen again like for any reason like power outage or anything like that and we see that it stopped here at increment number eight in step two or increment number nine pretty much so what i can do i can right now instead of if this happened i don't need to resubmit the entire thing and run from zero from increment one no i can continue from where i stopped so how can i do that so let's dismiss that let's stop that so what can i do let's cut let's make a copy of this model let's call it model 2 and then if i go here so now i'm in model number 2 it says here model number 2 
So in model number two, I will make a modification. I will make a right click and then I'm going to say edit attributes. And in attributes, you have this tab that says restart. Here, I'm going to specify the settings to for the state data. So what I'm going to check this box and I'm going to say read data from job. And then I need to specify the job name and the job name was like job one. This is what we called it. So I just call it job one. And then I need to specify the restart location. So I want to restart from step two. This is how we call the step. This is the step where it stopped. So step two, I don't want to restart from the end of the step because actually we didn't finish this step. I want to restart from a specific location. So I want to restart from increment number eight. And I want to do is to complete the step. So I'm going to restart from increment number eight and complete the step. So this is what I want to do. And then I just need to click OK. That's it. And then I need to go to the job. And then I need to create a new job. OK, here we call it job two. That's fine. And this will be based on model number two, the one that we changed the attributes. And then we say continue. And then this would be a restart analysis. So the job analysis, this is not a full analysis from zero. No, this is a restart analysis. And by default, this is selected as a restart because we already modified the attributes in model number two. And then I can click OK. And then it says here restart. And then if I submit it, so here it says like changes made to the restart model in the edit keywords will not be included. So that's fine. That's all right. So we can click yes. And then if we go to the monitor, so here I should start from step two increment eight we are not going to start from the beginning so let's see so here you go you see over here that we started from the past increment we stopped at increment eight so now we're going right away from increment nine from step number two and we're moving here from the time 1.16 so we're continuing the analysis so this is very very useful we didn't need to start from Step number one from increment number one. No, we just continued from where we stopped. And here we can keep uh, waiting until, of course, we mentioned, we told in the attributes that we want to finish, start from this point and finish the step. So that's it. The analysis is concluded right now, and then I can go right away to check the results. And then I can look at the results over here. Okay, so as we see over here, so see right now we are in job in job number two that we run, and this one starts from increment number nine. So here we can see the results from increment number nine. All right, but if we go to the other job, job number one, the one that we ran from before, we can actually uh, obtain uh, the other uh, database that we had from job number one. So if I go to job number one here, this one, and then I can look at the results. So we can see the results from the top part. So this is where we stopped. And then job two shows the remainder of the analysis. So again, this can be very, very useful. So you can do the same thing here in model number one, for instance, I can just run step one. So I can only run step one in model number one. And in model number two, I can create only step two. If step two is going to change, I'm going to change. I'm going to use different uh, types of loads or different load scenarios or uh, boundary conditions or so. So, and then I can start from step two, and then I can say in the attributes that read uh, pretty much the data uh, from step one, and then I can say restart from the end of the step. So this is something, this is pretty much the main uh, idea or the main reason for this restart feature. So this is something that can I do. So in job one, in model number one, I just run step number one, and in model number two, job two, I just read the last thing 
that I saved from step number one and then continue with any new steps. So this is very, very useful and it can save uh, lots of time and it can save you all the problems with loss of data. So now back to the slides to summarize quickly. So the first step that you need to do is to specify the restart data frequency. Uh, again, by default, the restart data are saved at the end of the step. If you want it to be more frequent, then you can specify the values over here. And then you can put this option that says overlay again to override data and you can save uh, space, uh, space on your hard disk. Uh, in the same time, this needs to be specified again for each step, if you have more than one. The second step, uh, of course, after you run the analysis, so when you are creating uh, a new model in order to continue, so you need to go to the edit attributes, you need to specify the data or the restart point where you are going to continue your analysis. By the way, you don't need to create a new model in this case. You can just modify the current model directly, but it's a good practice if you do a copy of the model just to keep uh, the original one intact. And then the third step, of course, is that you specify the job type as restart when you create the job. A couple of things that you need to be aware of for a restart job to work, these files that are created from the previous analysis should be present in the directory. And well, of course, they will be present in the directory by default if you already ran the analysis. So this is the ODB file, the model file, the part file, the state file, and of course, the restart file, which is a .res. In the same time, when you, in the new step or in the new model, you need to make sure that you don't change anything with respect to the geometry or the mesh or the material model. Because if you do any changes in those primary features of your model, then the continuation or the restarting from the previous job will not work because the two models need to be compatible or the, the continuation from job one to job two need to be compatible. So you cannot change these key things. You can change in loads, you can change in boundary conditions, that's fine but not in geometry, mesh, or material. That's it for the restart uh, option in Abacus standard. Uh, in the next video, we are going to discuss how to do the same thing for Abacus explicit. Thank you.